and Brace. Sheffield United have only gone and got a three points today over Derby County and what a game it was. Definitely a game of two halves. Now I'm joined in the studio. We can all catch our breath with Kevin Gage and Rob Kuzluck. Guys, how are you feeling, Kev? Have you caught your breath after your commentary gig there? Uh, just about. I I'm feeling better than Rob. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Uh, I think it's we got our just rewards there. Um, as you say, it was it was a very tight first half. You know, neither team giving too much away, and it was going to take something maybe extraordinary to to break the deadlock. <clears throat> we didn't quite see it come in that way with the sending off, but I think we just about deserved that on, on the balance of play. Certainly from our second half performance, because it, it's quite difficult to play against 10 men at times. Um, the, the pressure's on to create and, and to get the overlaps and use the extra man wisely, and I think we did that with a couple of clever substitutions as well, which piled the pressure on more and allowed us to get down the sides of the Derby defenders and the Derby defence. So as I say, I was slightly fortunate the way the goal came with the handball. Not quite sure what Davis was doing there, doing a bit of basketball in, in his own penalty area. But um, yeah, hugely relieved to get the win and, and, and a great day overall for Sheffield United. Definitely a great day. And you know what? We'll take all the handballs going, won't we? Especially in the 89th minute. It was so close. And we did actually have 75% possession. Uh, so it was really good to see us capitalise on that. Um, Rob, Obviously, a difficult day for you being associated with Derby County, but defensively, they were outstanding. Um, it's just a shame the discipline side of things did get the better of them. Yeah, I think the game plan that Wayne's come to Bramall Lane to set out was going according to plan. And uh, even with the 10 men, it's still the two banks of four that uh, Sheffield have to break down. But they had plenty of, uh, like you say, 75% possession second half. And um, the, the Amball, Davis, I mean, Jaggy Elk uh, and Davis, I mean, Sharp is just walking off, but he had, he had, him, he had him in pocket. Jaggy Elk emptied his pocket, there's Sharp. So he steps <laughs> up, scores a penalty in front of the comp, then gives the Derby fans a bit of grief. Well, speaking of Sharp, I caught up with him just a moment ago, and this is what he had to say. Billy, congratulations on that nail biting performance. 1 0, and of course, the penalty. So huge well done to you. Just what's your initial reaction? How are you feeling about that? Uh, I was frustrated out there today. Um, I should have had two, two or three goals. Um, so I was just happy to score the penalty because we, we needed that win. We need to build some momentum and um, I thought we deserved the three points. I know, I know Derby had a couple of chances first half and obviously they had one that hit the post, but I thought we were the better team today and um, we deserved the three points. We did actually have 75% possession so like you say we did have a lot of chances so it's really good to finally get the goal at the back of the head. Yeah it's just a relief in the end like I say um, I'm disappointed I didn't score a couple more um, I know Willemin is as well um, but we're, we're creating chances especially at home so um, the clean sheets are bonus as well because we, you know if you keep clean sheets and you only have to score the one goal so um, we're delighted. Derby did brilliant to be fair um, because he's already touched on it um, I don't think they quite had me in the pocket but Davis and Jags were flicking things off off me and Ollie McBurney's head where we thought we was going to score and um, they defended really well. Um, they've had obviously disappointing news of late but um, we're happy we got the three points to, to move up the table. Uh, how do you enjoy uh, playing up front with those new signings? Do they, they inject a bit of energy don't they and they're really um, exciting to watch? Yeah, um, obviously Morgan's come in, he's, he's been instrumental, um, scoring goals, creating goals and he, he really gets the crowd off the feet and He's an exciting player and he's brilliant to have in the team because he's always looking for the killer pass, which, um, which obviously is, is brilliant for me. And uh, Slavisi Okanovic, have you had time to catch up with him? Is he a happy bunny? He is. He's obviously delighted we've won the game, but he's a little bit disappointed that um, we were getting a little bit desperate in the last 20 minutes. He wanted us to keep probing and um, keep getting it wide because I think we were trying a few shots from outside the box, which I don't think he was too happy about. And obviously then when we scored the goal, it's about managing the game and... Uh, we nearly threw it away where, where the, uh, I think it was Lawrence who hit the post, so he, he, he's had his say on, on a couple of things, but we know that we, you know, we did, like I said, 75% possession. I think we've had more of the chances and uh, I thought we deserved the win today. And the championship is relentless, we all know that, and you go again on Tuesday against Middlesbrough. A few things to work on in your opinion? Yeah, it's a tough place to go. Um, I don't know how they've gone on today. Um, I know they've been struggling of late, so... Uh, Neil Warnock team is always hard um, away from home especially so we're going to have to be on, on a top of our game but um, we fancy 
herself against anyone at the minute. Um, we wish we could, you know, start the season a lot better than we did, but we, we, we're getting there now. We know we can still improve and get better, but um, the win today sets us up for a, two tough games uh, this week against Middlesbrough and Bournemouth. Billy, the only way is up. It is, at the minute. <laughs> Hopefully we, don't, we, we don't have to say that at the end of the season, yeah. Well, thank you very much Cheers. for joining us. Thank you. Great to get the thoughts from Billy Sharp there. Great that he made the effort to come all the way up here to the studio, Kev, especially after that performance. I mean, he did seem a little bit disappointed, but we're all very happy, aren't we? I'm sure he's not disappointed in, in any way, shape or form. Um, it is all around performances, as I've previously touched on, has been great. But um, yeah, to score the winning goal in, in this, under the circumstances, especially as, as he was the one brought down by the keeper and he would have fancied himself to get up and put that in. And he missed a couple of chances, as, as he alluded to. So as I, I think he was exactly right. Justice has been done uh, and we deserve the victory overall. Exactly. Just being very modest, wasn't he, Rob? I think that's how, how professional he is. He like, reflects on the ones he's missed. Obviously, because he could, he, he feels like he'll go away and think about them rather than the penalty. But in hindsight, he's got to be happy with the with the penalty. He definitely is, should be happy mm. with that. And the momentum, like we were just touching on, momentum's really important. And it is another win. It's another three points, Kevin. That's really important for Sheffield United. I, I, I said in commentary, I think that's mm. a really big win for Sheffield United against a good Derby side. And we, we, you've rightly said there, we've kept the momentum going. We've had three wins now out of four at home here. Um, we've had a, well, we've got two very very mm. difficult games coming up, especially Tuesday, going up to Essen Park there or wherever it's called these days. I'm showing my age now, uh, Riverside or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a difficult game, and we needed to go up there with three points here, and and to, and to achieve the three points in the way we've done it is 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 fantastic because it was difficult today, and we've broken them down in in the right way. We got we did get down the side, and we did create some good opportunities. And as I say, uh, big three points, very big. It was close right until the very end of the game. I mean, we got the penalty in the 89th minute and then we had an extra five minutes where I guess everyone kind of has a sigh of relief and then they go and do another chance, don't they, Rob? It's just like we can't keep our eyes off the game. I think that's what Slav's probably touched on in the, towards Sharpie, whereas you've got the game one, game management is you shut up shop and you waste time and you see this out. And for Lawrence to even get the glimpse on goal, which on another day, if that had to finish 1-1 with 75% possession, you'd have been very aggrieved. And Derby County, we've got to give them huge credit today, Kev, because defensively they were outstanding, weren't they? Yeah, they did defend very, very well. They got their, they've got their bodies in the way of the ball. Uh, they were slightly fortunate with a couple of deflections that the deflected wide that could have gone anywhere, could have gone in the corner of the goal or whatever. Um, but yeah, they defended very well. I'm not quite sure what, what happened and why he, uh, Curtis Davis put his hand up in the end there. So um, I'm sure he'll be mortified when he looks at that uh, t tonight on a replay. But I think it's just a rush of blood to the head. You know, there was no need for it whatsoever. But it, it, was, a, it was a good yeah. performance from, from both sides for different reasons. We kept going and kept going and kept going right to the very end. And Derby you know, defended as if, as if their lives depended on it. It is those little mistakes when you're getting tired that can really change the whole game. Uh, and it's fair to say that the one man who won't be very happy is um, Mr Wayne Ro Rooney, Rob. Uh, what do you think he'll be thinking right now? What happens is he'll reflect on the, uh, the afternoon and uh, there's some positives to take out of that and take into red in the week. So, albeit, yeah, you're on the back of it, but we can't, we can't like just look at this and we go again because the points is what we need to get on the board. So, albeit, yeah, he's disappointed for the moment, but we have to go again and show that. We all go again. Every week, twice a week, so it seems. <laughs> <laughs> We've got another three games before the international break, and the first one being Tuesday against Middlesbrough away. Thank you to my guests, Rob and Kevin. Thank it's you very great much. to get your thoughts post match, and to everyone behind the scenes, and of course, to everyone watching. Thank you for your company, and we will see you very soon right here on SETV Live.